Hi, my name is Aiden Benson Armour, joined with Jack Jassy and Ari Moore, and today we'll be talking about who we think has the best playoff system and if the college bowl games should are necessary. Jack, do you think the college bowl games are necessary? Well, Benson, uh, I think that they are necessary if you have the four the four team college football playoff, but I think that while it's like kind of necessary, people don't really care about bowl games and all the best players on the teams sit out for that reason. And so I think if you put eight teams in the college football playoff, I think that it would be fine to not have any bowl games because it's just like nobody really tries the hardest. I, don't, I wouldn't watch a bowl game that really that much. I didn't even watch the Rose Bowl this year, just being honest. Uh, and so I, don't think, I think if you put eight teams in the college football playoff, ideally you'd have a team from each conference or of the big five conferences. I don't think the bowl games are necessary. Ari, what do you think? I'm going to have to completely disagree with you there, Jack. Uh, the bowl games are great. They're entertaining. The fans love them. I'm, I'm, uh, the Rose Bowl two years ago, or I think it was two years ago, between USC and Penn State was one of the best games I've ever watched. And you said that some players uh, sit out, but that's only a few players. I'd say a lot of the players don't even get drafted. So it gives the worst teams to play against uh, equal teams on a bigger stage. But what I'm saying is that Leonard Fournette two years ago when he was on LSU sat out of his bowl game because they didn't make the college football playoff. Nobody wanted to watch that game anymore. It wasn't interesting anymore. That's the only reason why anybody but, watched LSU but, that whole year. But you're wrong. The LSU fans still wanted to watch that bowl game. I'm just saying, he's in... He, was it the Cotton Bowl? Yeah, I think yeah. it was the Cotton Bowl. So, that's supposed to be a major big-time bowl. But if it's not the college football playoff, it doesn't matter at all. These teams are just playing for fun. Like, it's just for pride. You're not winning anything. You're not, wi- you're not going for a national championship. You're just playing to play. Well, it's still entertaining. They still like playing to play. Is it necessary, though? It, no, it might not be necessary, but, I mean, it's entertaining as hell. I mean, these are great games. Everyone loves them. I mean, the fans love them. The people watching them seem to love them. So why should we... I don't understand why we should take them off national television. I'm just saying for me... Here, here's what I'll say. For me, I don't really have that much of an interest in a game that's a bowl game that's not considering the college football playoff. All right. Well, I'm going to have to disagree with you there. I like watching all the games because even though they're not one of the four best teams in all of college football... They're still fun to watch them. Okay. All right, next topic. Who do we think has the best N- uh, playoff system? Ari? Uh, I think that the NFL has the best playoff system. It's one game. It's fast. But uh, there's also the best team doesn't always win, and I think it's cool that there's a lot of upsets. I'd say the MLB uh, playoff system is my favorite because it makes the regular season matter so much more than it does, especially in NBA and NHL where – literally more than half of the teams get into the playoffs. And so it makes the postseason, or the, it makes the regular season almost like meaningless for teams like the Golden State Warriors or like this year the Tampa Bay Lightning in the, in the NHL. And I think also the NFL is good, but I think that with the MLB, you only get five, there are only five teams that get into the playoffs, and so you really have to work to get in. And most teams don't get in. You have to, the real best teams are in the playoffs. Awesome. Thank you both for telling us your opinions. I'm Aiden Benson. I'm joined with Ari Moore and Jack Jassy signing off.